I don't know why. Hey guys, what's up? It's Summer. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the new K. Ali Eden Juicy Apple 01. Um, so I first want to talk about the packaging. I feel like Kaylee's packaging is always like really, really good, but especially like this red bottle. Like, wow. It's just so pretty because it's red. I feel like this is also perfect, like a perfect bottle for like the winter time or just like the cold month in general. It's really nice. So clearly I got the smaller size. This was just recently released in December. And again, like I said, I think the packaging is perfect for winter time. So you can get it in the 0.33 ounces for $25, 1.7 ounce, which is the 50 milliliter ounce for $85, or you could get it in the 3.4 ounce, which is about $118. I first wanted to try this because I heard a lot of people talk about how this is very much so going out of their comfort zone with their fragrances. I really enjoy fruity fragrances and I'm still like in college and everything so I would consider myself still part of the youth. Um, I love like fruity things. I love sweet scents. Um, I'm not going to say I love everything that has apple but I really really do love like the still like fruity playful type of scents. I still enjoy the seriousness and the okay don't play with her type of scents but I also do enjoy like the playful scents as do a lot of other people that still aren't in youth but once I heard about that I definitely wanted to try this out. I'm going to put on the screen what the top notes of this fragrance is. Um, I've tried it out probably about two or three times only twice by itself and three I, I paired it with another Kayali fragrance honestly it really smells so so sweet um it smells so fruity sweet juicy sweet like it delicious sweet it really really does smell like that upon like opening um it smells definitely a bit different after it dries down but I feel like in the bottle and when you first like spray it onto your skin like it definitely smells very like gives the very fresh fruity it's so it's so fruity that it, it smells sweet i love being able to smell the berry scent within the apple i feel like that like vanilla and like berry is really calming it down along with like the must scents that you smell within it but the berry and the apple with the vanilla it's just all just such a good delicious juicy combination like the perfect name for it because that's honestly what it smells like it smells so good honestly when you first smell it it's it's definitely giving me bath and body works victoria's secret vibes it's it's giving me winty candy apple type of except i feel like winty candy apple isn't a delicious scent it isn't so good that it's like fruity it, it isn't so good that it's delicious so definitely not saying it's like at that level but it's definitely giving like a body spray type of fragrance but i would say like the apple in this isn't so overbearing that it's intoxicating but when it dries down on your skin that's when you really start to smell like the floral like musky that amber all in one it doesn't it there's no doesn't have much consistency I feel like it very much so changes it's not like an ongoing continuous apple juiciness that you are having in this fragrance it smells very good when you first apply it like I said but once it dries down you're getting all of those other fragrances blended in with it. it it really is giving me like if you guys have ever tried Ariana Grande's cloud the quickness that cloud at least for me in my personal experience how it's very it's so sweet but the scent doesn't stay like it's continuously ongoing through the rest of the notes while you're wearing it this is what this reminds me of it's like it doesn't smell like that whatsoever it definitely smells like i said like a bath um like like a body spray that you could get from like victoria's secret or like bath and body works but as far as the perfume not being continuous, 
but it's like it's a good smell being able to get like the musk and the floral and all of that it's a nice smell when it dries down but i just feel like when it dries down it's not as juicy it's not giving you that ongoing smell that you initially get when you smell out of the bottle or when you like apply um i mean you smell it but it's just not as prominent it's not it's not as potent again i would say this is a really good combination of juicy and sweet but again i really really love those like fruity playful scents um i just can't stop it just it really does smell so much different than when it's on your skin than when it is in the in the tube <laughs> in the tube um as far as longevity this is definitely a layer fragrance not that you can't layer any of your fragrances perfumes not that you can't layer them in general but this is not a girl that you would step out with because it, it's giving too much just body type of spray each day that i wore this it gave me about two hours max if that one of the days that i wore it i did mix it with the elixir um now the elixir has very similar notes as well i think it even has like a red apple note except the elixir note uh, the red apple isn't a delicious apple. I'm actually going to go ahead and pull up the notes for the elixir, but it definitely has like that jasmine-y type of smell. These obviously do not smell similar, and I'm not even sure if this is like the best combination to mix with it, but I'm just saying they do have a bit of similar notes in them. And so I did combine these together thinking maybe it would make my apple, it, the juiciness in this one last longer... I would say maybe it gave me like 15 minutes top extra, but it's not really, but I really, I don't know, I kind of enjoy like the musky smell, um, but this is very, very soft, I feel like, almost like too soft to the skin. It's not sticking. It's it's really not sticking, so it's, it, it's gonna have to be layered for certain. I definitely don't feel like this has much sillage, like at all if anything the elixir since i already just mentioned it has more sillage than this does i don't really think any form of sillage actually exists with this one it's just it's too soft it's just too it's too soft and it's it's too bad because it really does smell so fruity sweet and delicious it really really does give off everything um as far as the key notes that it says how it when you wear it, it changes from that floral to musk to all of that. It's so, it smells so good. So overall, do I think this is a good perfume? Do I think that Kaeli actually needed this? I don't have a bunch of Kaeli fragrances. I like that Kaeli did something outside of their comfort zone. I would say this is like a playful, nice, you could definitely wear this for almost any time of the day, more so like daytime, morning time type of perfume it's too soft for me it's not lasting enough and not at least not for the price point now if you're gonna get like if you're if you would get this size you're gonna pay 25 dollars, but you're gonna use this up in order to keep to continuously like keep spraying it so you can keep that that scent um it's not sticking on the skin for me even with like lotion it's not sticking on the skin for me um even with combining it at least with these it's not sticking on the skin for me so for the price point, $25, $85, when you can just get a body spray that's sort of giving off the same thing. I don't know if I would say this is something that you absolutely have to have. I mean, unless you just already have like a perfect combination that you can combine with this, then maybe. Or unless, you know, you always collect Kaeli fragrances or Kaeli, you know, perfumes then I could see why, but if not, it's just for the price point, I don't see why this would be essential. But I, I will admit I really do wish that I would have gotten a bigger size because I would like to saturate myself with this to see if it would last even longer. I would like to do more than just like my six sprays in order to be able to see if I could make this stick on the skin, but I highly doubt it. I definitely don't think I would be purchasing it again unless I was like, if I was gifted like a bigger size, like if someone were to buy me like a Christmas gift and give me a bigger size, I would definitely be using it up. But me actually spending like my coins to go buy this and it not be as lasting when you could just go get a Victoria's Secret or Bath and Body Works, 
but I am very interested in trying more of KLA perfumes. I've heard so many great things about some other ones that I have yet to try. Let me know if you guys are going to be picking up this Juicy Apple um, or if you have already ordered it but you're just waiting for it. Let me know your thoughts, comments, and opinion. Is it lasting on your skin? What layers have you came up with that's making it work? Or just how do you feel about it? Or drop down just what scent you're wearing today. I would love to know that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video.